Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, heart disease is a condition that affects many here right in the Baton Rouge community. There's a great organization doing lots of great work. It's the American Heart Association. And here to tell us a little bit more about the great work they do and some exciting events coming up is Kim Morgan. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Obviously, everyone in this community, you know, is touched in some way by this condition, either family, friends, or whatever. I mean, talk to me a little bit about the impact of that here in Baton Rouge. Well, heart disease is a silent killer of women. Um, women, in general, don't really think about themselves relative to heart disease. They, they worry about cancer and, and other things, but it is a silent killer, and it, it, it is very prevalent in our community. I'm always surprised to learn that it is among the leading causes of death, right, and especially here in Louisiana. Yes, heart disease kills more women than all forms of cancer combined. Wow, that's an amazing stat. Well, to that end, I know you guys are in the business of, of preventing and educating about heart disease. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about some of the things that you're doing here in the greater Baton Rouge area to help out with that. Well, Go Red is that movement that tries to bring awareness and, and prevention to the forefront. Because if we can do anything to help one woman, um, then we've done our job. So we have events um, that try to do just that. We, we have uh, a couple of events coming up uh, in February. One is the National Wear Red Day, where if we just encourage women to wear red, and especially us in the Go Red movement, right. people will ask us, what is the red about? And we can say, you know, we're here to educate you about your risk factors or the fact that heart disease is the silent killer of women and, you know, know your numbers or stop smoking, uh, reduce the fat in your diet, uh, know your genetics, things like that. Because this is really a type of condition that if you're on the ball with it early and, and you're paying attention to these things that really you can make a difference early on before you well, have problems with absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. It, it, is, it is preventable in many cases and, and it's all about awareness and education and that's what we do with uh, American Heart and Go Red and, and the money raised um, and the work done is all here in Baton Rouge, which is really great with this movement. I mean, all the money that we raise stays right here to help the women in our community. I know you have an exciting lunch coming up. Give me yes, the details yes. on that. Uh, February 12th, Friday, February 12th, at the River Center in Baton Rouge. Uh, we do this every year, and it's gotten bigger and better. Uh, from 10 to 11.30, we have health screenings from different providers, health providers in Baton Rouge, and supporters of Go Red. They'll have different booths. Women can get their screenings done. They can participate in a silent auction. And then at 1130, we'll have the ticketed luncheon where we'll, we will hear from survivors wow. and, and other people that have had heart disease touch their lives. And it's so moving. Um, we'll have a heart healthy lunch and then we'll also have a style show. And um, featuring some of the women who have been touched by heart disease. It sounds like a, a full slate of great events for mm -hmm. people. If they want to find out more or just to become part <clears> of <throat> the Go Red movement, where do they need to go for more information on that? To the website, batonrougegored.heart.org. Fantastic. Thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about it and for doing the great work you're doing Thank out you there. Thank you so much sure for thing. having us. Well, he's doing his part to help keep a Livingston Parish safe. It's Sheriff Jason Ard. Take a look, everyone. Since 2012, when I was elected, we were able, we've been able to accomplish a great, a great bit here at this office. Um, mostly uh, due to uh, the deputies that we have working here. They just are such a tremendous, tremendous group of uh, men and women that are dedicated to this parish. And uh, so, you know, we, we've had some challenges with the growth of this parish. It's been just tremendous. And, you know, we, we've recognized since, you know, this increase in our population that there's been an unfortunate increase in our burglaries and thefts. So. Uh, recognizing that and working hard toward you know what, what can we do to, to fix this issue and in doing that we created this burglary task force and they have really done a great job in, in decreasing that that issue and, uh, and and work really hard at it so it's uh, and of course the numbers show that and like burglaries and thefts uh, you know narcotics is one of those crimes along with those other two that are uh, something that nationwide that, that law enforcement battle. I mean, you're going to battle that, and, uh, and narcotics has always been at the top of the list, 
and that's the root of most crimes, if, uh, if not all crimes. But most crimes, you know, narcotics are involved in it. And so it's been a challenge to us like, other, like some of the others because of the increase in population. You know, we've seen some increase in, in, in some of the uh, narcotic behavior. Uh, so we have, uh, had recently beefed up our narcotic uh, division. And uh, so and with that, we, we've uh, got close to $2 million in illegal narcotics off the streets. A lot of people want to hear about your burglaries and your narcotics because that's what a lot of them are kind of connected to in some way. And, um, but you know, this, this office is made up of so much more and the ones that, I, that really stick out to me is your, your patrol deputies because you know, they, some, they, although they're the front line, a lot of people think they just go there and they kind of turn everything over, which a lot of times your patrol deputy is one to handle things from the time they get there to the time it goes to court. I mean, they really do a tremendous job. Uh, they have a lot of great te technology in those units now from back in the early 90s when I was in a patrol car to now it just looks like a spaceship to me. I mean there's so much, th you know, from laptop computers to radars, we uh, have some new in-car cameras, and the, you know, things that, that they need to help them do their job better. And uh, so you want to have, the, you want these guys to be able to be equipped very well and, and, and they are. And uh, they're also connected to, to so much. I mean, you know, the patrol division is not just patrol guys. You have canine units on there. And we have some of the top canine uh, guys in the country. I'll put them up against anybody. They do a tremendous job. Uh, we actually have four of them. Uh, and we have a criminal patrol division that's also in, in link with that. We have a motor division that actually does a lot of uh, not only funeral escorts, but pays uh, a lot of attention to traffic issues in a growing parish. Uh, we have a lot of that. We have our uh, marine division which you know, everybody knows in, in Livingston Parish, I mean, we have so many waterways and it's uh, become a tremendous burden on us. We work hand in hand with the wildlife and fishery and the surrounding agencies, uh, Ascension Parish and St. John. Uh, we have a couple of local, the Nokian uh, Police Department that actually have some, uh, some waterways and they have some boats. And on these big weekends, we have these major events from Lake Bash and uh, poker runs, the Tick Fall 200, which is a huge, huge event. Uh, it's a big challenge for these, uh, uh, Marine Division, So, but when you see Marine Division, don't think those guys are only in there operating boats. Most of those guys are coming out of the patrol units and getting in the boat. They're very well trained, very well educated, they know their job, they know what they need to do. So if you're a citizen of Livingston Parish, uh, I, can, I can tell you this, I've been all over the nation and, uh, and met many sheriffs, many police chiefs, many law enforcement officers. We have, without a doubt, some of, if not the best, men and women that you could possibly ask for to protect this parish. They are just tremendous, tremendous people. They are from here, they're connected to here, they have family here, their kids, everything. Being from this community, living in this community, it makes us a, a, a little sense of ownership that, that and you, you care about it. They dedicate their lives, literally, on a daily, nightly, 24-7 basis every day to protect you and your family. Uh, we want to continue to work, to work with our community. We want you to continue to trust us, to feed us the information you've always fed us. Open your doors to us. Um, don't hesitate to call with that information. And just know that we are here to serve and protect you, the citizen, and to make this place the safe place it's always been and continue to keep it safe. So I'm, I'm proud of where we're at today and I'm very excited where we're going to be at in the future. When we come back on Across Louisiana, find out what you can do to party with a purpose. We'll tell you all about it next.